What is it? It's the Icarus One. That signal is their distress beacon. Jesus. It's impossible. It's been seven years. Clearly, it's not impossible because you can hear it with your own ears. Are you saying they're still alive? We don't know. But they could be. Their oxygen is self-replenishing, water is recycled, and they have all the solar power that they need. What about food? There's no way their supplies could have lasted seven years. That depends. They have stuck to cover eight people for three years. That's a four-year shortfall. That's a hell of a diet. We don't know what happened to Icarus One. There might have been an accident or something else. There might not have been eight people to feed. Captain. Do we know where they are? Well done, Captain. That is the question. Icarus, please blot out trajectory following the slingshot around Mercury. Yes, Captain. Now plot the source of the Icarus One beacon. Jesus, they almost made it. That's why no one picked up the signal until now. It was lost in the background light and noise. We're going to pass right by them. Within 10 or 15,000 miles. Can anyone survive? If the shield is intact. We'll be able to see them. Yes. I, I need to look at all of this pretty carefully. Very carefully. But if I had to make a guess right now, I'd say we could adjust our trajectory. We could fly straight to them. But we're not going to do that. Just to make it absolutely clear, there's no way we're going to do that. Do I have to spell it out for you? We have a payload to deliver to the heart of our nearest star. We're delivering that payload because that star is dying. And if it dies, we die. Everything dies. So that is our mission. There is nothing, literally nothing more important than completing our mission. End of story. He's right. He's right. Of course I'm right. Is anyone here seriously considering otherwise? May I put a counter-argument? No! Captain? Go ahead. It would, of course, be absurd to alter our trajectory to assist the crew of the Icarus One. Even if we knew that some or even all of that crew are still alive, their lives are entirely expendable when seen in the context of our mission. As are our own lives. Exactly. However, there is something on board the Icarus One that may be worth the detour. As you pointed out, Mace, we have a payload to deliver. A payload, singular. Now, everything about the delivery and effectiveness of that payload is entirely theoretical. Simply put, we don't know if it's going to work. But what we do know is this. If we had two bombs, we'd have two chances. You're assuming we'd be able to pilot Icarus One. Yes. Which is assuming that whatever stopped them completing the mission wasn't a fault or damage to the spacecraft. Yes. That's a lot of assumptions. It is. It's a risk assessment. The question is, does the risk of a detour outweigh the benefits of an extra payload? We'll have a vote. No, no. No, we won't. We're not a democracy. We're a collection of astronauts and scientists. So we're going to make the most informed decision available to us. Made by you by any chance? Made by the person best qualified to understand the complexities of the payload delivery. Our physicist. <laughs>